Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the chat. Today we will be starting the sentence part 9. So if you guys have watched the part 7 and part 8, you guys know that we have changed the route and you know I am not gonna cover any mini games. We are just gonna go for the story because I believe people will only watch this if they are interested in the story. So yeah, I have cut everything out. So yeah, let's start. Notes. Nothing came from searching the hospital records. Okay, that's interesting. A second girl, Bella Green, went missing. We are going to try to learn more about her family. To do this, we need to find reports from child services. Photo of Bella Green. Yeah. <laughs> Cover from our seventh episode. Nice. Okay, uh, oh, sorry. I'm not bad. Okay, dialogue inactive. I haven't slept well in two days. I keep thinking about what you said. Okay. I have never admitted this, but I envy you quite a bit. Me? Why? Because you have parents that love you. And you had a happy childhood. I had all that too until I was 10. But then my father died and my mom got depressed. Oh, that's a sad story. Let's see. What else we have? She stopped going to work. And I started finding empty bottles of whiskey around the house. Okay. Why didn't you go to child services? I didn't want to. I was scared they would send me to a different family. Yeah, this. Then she started bringing a bunch of guys home. Uh, this started getting bad. I think one of them even got her hooked on heroin. Then everything became a living hell. Shouting, drugs, drunken fights. All of it took its toll on me. You have seen for yourself how I get when I'm angry. I spent six months in a mental hospital, as you know. Yes, oh, I understand your father trying to protect you. Why didn't you tell me about why didn't you tell me about all this before? Because I hate being pitied. Yeah. So Michael has a lot of baggage. Okay, nice to know. I continued looking for new stories about similar cases of girls being murdered in the past in the archives of nearby towns. Unfortunately, I didn't find anything. Another dead end. Weird. I think we must have missed something. Is there any other news? Actually, there is. I found the contact info for Jerry Tawney, Bella's boyfriend. Okay. His ID is 105695. Okay, I'll talk to him. Let's see. Okay, 105695. Here we go. 105. Okay, 6666695. <laughs> Okay, 10%. Oh, by the way, if you are hearing circling sounds, that's because I am, you know, drinking tea while recording this. It's my throat got a little lakey. So, yeah. Sorry for the distraction. Okay, small time thug, ex-boyfriend of the kidnapped girl, Bella Green. Hello, my name is Henry. I would like to talk about Bella. Yeah, we go out. Yeah, we used to go out. Sorry, my bad. We are trying to find her. She's gone missing. We need your help. I'm with the police. She's gone missing. And you would better not lie to me, kiddo. Ooh, police line. I love this. Let's go with the police line. <laughs> so funny. Let's see what's the reaction. Are you for real? Yeah, that's sort of like a junky reaction. Well, I don't know anything. Nobody knows anything when police says something. 
We had a fight couple of months ago. I haven't seen her since. Okay. What caused the fight? You don't know where she might be now. Yeah, let's ask him about the fight. Because that might be a valuable too. She dumped me. The whole. Yes. I bet she's already with some new guy. So I don't know anything. Screw off, dude. Okay, he is angry. No worries. Investigation. Talking to Jerry was useless, yeah. He's basically useless. As I expected. But the important thing is he added you to his contacts. So now we can eavesdrop him. Nice. This guy is interesting. Maybe he didn't tell you the whole story. Just a second. Okay. There you go. As soon as he contacts anyone, we will be tapped in. Nice. Okay. Hello. How are you? Is it just me or did I talk about myself too much yesterday? Oh, so we had a date. Nice. The romantic story is going well. Well, I like listening. I had a nice evening. It made me forget about everything that's happening. Even if it was only for a few hours. Yeah. This looks like a good answer. I promise it won't happen again. The evening or the conversation? <laughs> This is like flirting 101. I don't know what 201 or 301 is. I only know the 101. So yeah. The long monologue about myself last night was great. You never told me how you knew I had a cat. Maybe I should keep it a secret. Does it matter? Yeah. Let's keep it a secret. Because I also don't know. So it's better to keep. I'm curious. Sometimes the answer is very simple. Okay. Based on your experience, do you think we'll catch the killer before they murder the girls? The more time that goes by, the less likely that is. We are working on it. I think everything will be fine. Yeah, let's go with that. Because we don't want to lose hope, right? Even if we know that's not the truth. But we want to hold on to hope. I'm positive Bella's ex is somehow involved in all this. I think he's just a kid. We'll turn up the pressure on him. Yeah. I also think he's a little bit suspicious. So, let's turn up the pressure. We need new leads. I have to go. Okay. If you don't mind, I'll come visit you again this way. You're more than welcome to. Yeah. Okay, we had friend relationship. Savarsky, let's see. Ah. Uh, and again, sorry for all the surprise sounds in this episode. I had just gotten tea. So. And I'm a big tea guy, so. I couldn't resist, you know. I should have resisted and recorded this video and then drank my tea. But. So, yeah, sorry for this. Now let's start this. Hey Henry, how's your investigation going? Hi Andrew, not so well. Not well so far. What do you know about Jerry Tony? Yeah, let's hear about it. Nothing good, okay. That Dimwit and his friends have always been a pain in the ass. Any hard evidence? Yeah, like you see a hooligan or uh, luckily not yet. Okay, why is they are one of the biggest problems in the old factory district. Fighting, drugs, the suspected of gang violence. Okay, but you can't get anything out of the victims in old factory. They still have to live there. So we are waiting until they kill someone and then we'll send them off to federal prison. Anything else? Hmm. 
No, nothing definite yet. Henry, there's a reason I'm testing you. Texting you, sorry. I have a weird question for you. Do you know anything about cracking computer passwords? Ah, oh, shit. I think we are getting in trouble. Are you planning to charge me with something? The last thing I cracked open was a can of beer. Let's go with this. Hmm. <laughs> shit, that got bad. The thing is that one of the missing girls, Samantha, had a laptop. That she left at her mother's house. Ooh. We should have gone with the crack beer route. She clearly didn't want to bring it to Ted's place because she was afraid he would sell it for drugs. Okay. We checked it, but it's locked. Well, Michael could hack it, right? And since Adam was fired, we don't have anyone who can crack the password. We had to give it back to Samantha's mother. But I was thinking... Maybe Mike could do it. Yeah. Could you ask him? Okay, I'll ask him. I don't think he want to cooperate with the precinct now. E second man. Okay, we have gone into a poor relationship. Well, ask him anyway. Tell him everything I did. Tell him I did everything I could. Okay. Uh, we weakened our relationship twice. Hello. We need to be now careful with everyone. We need Samantha's laptop for the investigation. The police said we returned it to you. They didn't return anything to me. It's all tied up in red tape. What do you need the laptop for? We might find something important on it if we are lucky. We are looking for something specific. If we don't tell that, she is not going to give us it. What are you looking for? As soon as we have specific details, I will be sure to let you know. I can't keep waiting any longer. Find my daughter. We have theories and we are examining each of them thoroughly. Everything will be okay. No. Feel like this should be the right answer. I don't know. I really wish I could believe you. But I can't shake this bad feeling. I'll keep you updated. Okay, let's see the white tab. Hi, Agnes. I'm Michael Brown, you probably don't remember me. We went to school together until 8th grade when we moved away. Hey. Yes, I remember you. You used to draw beautiful but dark comic books. Okay. One time you drew me as a vampire on your desk. I still have a photo of it. Oh yeah, I remember that. I know about your sister Bella's disappearance. Henry and I are trying to help. Henry is one of the top investigators, okay, so he's pumping us up. I kept hoping she would call, tell me what I can do. Okay, yeah, that was a good idea. For now, we need to... We need you to answer a couple of questions. Were you close with her? Had she been acting strangely or something? I haven't lived with my parents and sisters for two years now. But since I rent a house nearby, we see each other often. Okay. Bella had a lot of mood swings recently, but I didn't attach much importance to it. Did she maybe have a new boyfriend? She was going out with Jerry. He was jealous of her. Uh, always controlling her. It got to the point where he wouldn't let 
her wet dresses. Okay, that's bad. This is just basically a toxic relationship at its truest forms. She stopped hanging out with her friends and even with me. He hit her because she bought underwear and forgot to tell him. Like she bought it for some other guys. When did that happen? Did she report it to the police? Four months ago she wanted to report it. But he begged her not to say, saying he loved her. So she went and forgave him. Typical mistake. But it's clear that was only the beginning. True. Okay, this video is getting a little longer. The second time she ended up in the hospital, he really terrified her. He threatened to kill her. So she didn't dare report her. She packed up her things one night and moved in with me. He kept stroking her. This guy, Jay. It's a good thing I know some people. They tracked him down and spoke with him. Guys like him are actually cowards. We'll look into him. Yeah, no worries. Please let me know if you remember anything, no matter how small. Any detail could end up being important. Actually, there's something else, okay? I was at my parents' house yesterday and went into her room. Everything was where it should be except her laptop. Do you know where it might be? I have no idea. Text me if you find out anything. Yeah. So, this is the end of the episode. Yeah, this is a pretty long episode. I thought I would keep it under 15 minutes, but the ma wire tab just went a little bit. So, no worries. What we are going to do is, we are going to wrap things up. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Like the episode. Share it with your friends. And subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys with part 10 of Sentence. So, till then. Keep watching. Bye-bye.